Hello Capricorn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. All right, so <clears throat> the feeling that I'm getting so far, okay, the feeling off of this card is that there's a divine masculine out there. I feel like it's a masculine energy. I'm feeling that heavy. Um, they're, they're using their free will or they need to, okay? They've made their own choices in the past with their free will, but now it's like they're too afraid. It's like they're, they're afraid to make a decision. They're trying to avoid the situation and wait it out, but this person is about to suffer their karma because I really feel like, um, this was a a connection that's supposed to come together. It's it, I'm seeing that because of fate and destiny. Okay, I feel like this is something that's destined, but this person, um, their actions are not. Um, they're they're going against their own destiny here. Basically, is what they're doing. They're they're going against their own destiny, and the, you know what? They have free will to do this. And the longer they wait this out, the more they avoid this, um, the more karma they're going to receive, okay? They're going to lose all that the, that's part of their destiny, all right? They're, they are. They're going against their own destiny here, and they don't even really realize it. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with, uh, or you could be, uh, you could be a Taurus, sorry, <laughs> Um, I just, you know, I get the feeling like this person is being very stubborn and it's actually ruining their, um, their destiny, their karma or their future. Uh, they're going to get karma for this conflict, fights, disagreements. Um, I feel like that may be what's going on in the background with this person. Maybe they're fighting with someone, constant fights, constant disagreements. Everything is, is starting to come back on this person for this. They need to get their confidence up, but that could take another year. I got time, one year, or you guys could have been in separation for a year. Um, but I feel like this is something that's going to take time. If they want to wait, like, this could take a while. I'm still going through something here. Well, clarify battles. What is this person going through here? North Node. Destiny. I'm telling you, they're fighting their destiny. I've got two destiny cards out here already. They're being urged to move forward. Follow the North Star, right? That's what they're being urged to do. Get on their life mission. Um, get on their path. I also feel like, um, you know, this person's going through a battle of their own behind the scenes collective, I gotta say. If it's going to take them another year, I feel like you just need to move forward. You need to follow your North Star. Do your life mission. Be on your path forward. I feel like... Um, you're not you're not here in this world to just wait for this one person okay and that's kind of what they want you to do they want you to wait they they're um overthinking things or they feel like um they feel like they're in the middle of something or they're conf you know they're in some kind of conflict here and they're just not taking any action and that's totally screwing up their destiny but it doesn't have to it doesn't have to mess your destiny up okay you don't have to wait for this person so you could be dealing with the sagittarius or you could be a sagittarius take it how it resonates with you be the light i feel like yeah just stand strong i feel like um you're you could be a light worker uh, divine feminine because this is all about destiny here yeah your spirit guides I feel like you're being led and as you are led forward here following that north node right staying on your path your path I wanted to say passion staying on your path right following that life mission um, your spirit guides are, are leading you straight forward stay in your lane but as you move forward this person here is very triggered they're feeling a lot of anger fear and anxiety 
um, they don't they don't want you to leave but here's the thing that they need to grow spiritually that they need to show some growth here um, they need to do some healing they need to do the work on themselves if they're gonna be catching up to you because you're moving forward you just keep on going you could be a Capricorn you could be dealing with a Capricorn but I feel like this person is around some kind of toxicity, I gotta say. Okay, this is your soulmate. They could have seen you as being, like, best friends at one point. And they may want peace between you. Um, they may want to extend an olive branch to you, okay? Um, kind of a, a two of cups energy here. Uh, but you know what, though? They're, I mean, this it could take them another year to get their act together to do their work to get out of a situation um to get away from something toxic and uh, you know you I, I don't think you're here on this earth to just keep waiting for this person i gotta say i feel like you're being led forward here you you're just following your spirit guides and what your spirit guides tell you to do and it's bringing you to a lot of success happiness bun abundance love you're about to you're heading right straight into a new love situation a lot of abundance a lot of success like your spirit guides have brought you to this point right and at this point i feel like the majority of the collective right um, you're you're healed enough to keep moving forward without being heartbroken, without falling apart emotionally. Okay, um, and you're forgiving, you're releasing, and you're in a place where it it feels like um, the Nine of Pentacles energy, like Empress and the Minor Arcana energy, where you've really built something solid for yourself. You've put in the effort. You've grown your abundance. Okay. And um, you're, you're being led a step further here, but this person's being left behind. They keep wanting you to wait. Wait for what? Wait for what exactly? They're not showing you anything. They're being um, extremely stubborn when it comes to this connection. So you're not waiting anymore. You're being led to not wait, okay? Um, moon cycles... It's on the bottom of the deck, a proposal, a love offer. Yeah, is this love offer going to actually happen with the moon? We don't know. It, it really depends on your person because they do have free will. That's the first card out. Clarify the moon. Use your intuition. I feel like you know this person wants to get back together with you. You know they do. Um, heck, I can see it and feel it in this reading, you know? And, uh, yeah, but they need to be honest. They need to come towards you with some communication. There's just, you know, Houston, we have a problem, right? And what we have here is a failure to communicate. This person just is not budging. I'm feeling a lot of uh, stubbornness off of this person, I got to say. I mean, yeah, they're going through their own battles, but that's no excuse for not doing the work. And they, and they can't expect you to keep waiting for them. All right? You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've got Taurus out here already. You could be dealing with uh, Cancer, Pisces. You could be a Cancer, Pisces. You could be, you could be an Aquarius here as well. They could be a Sagittarius, but they need to be honest with you. They could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You know, they're not communicating. Yeah, see, there's that Cancer energy here. You could be a Cancer. If you're a Cancer, you are this person's central focus. I will tell you that much. We've got the Moon and Cancer right next to each other. So you could, be, you could be a Cancer, or, or they could be a Cancer. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All the signs I've already mentioned. Okay? Secrets. Listen to your intuition. This person could be hiding something at this point, too. They could have some secrets with the moon card out here. 
listen to your intuition. This person is not ready to come forward. I really feel like, too, with caution being out, um, the fact that this person still is going through some battles, they're still, um, they're still being stubborn, right? They want you to wait. Okay, listen to your intuition. This, the, these are all red flags that this person is not doing their work, okay? That this is going to take a lot of time. And I feel like at this stage in the journey, guys, <clears throat> you know the importance of time, okay? In the amount of time that, that you've all been given, you have used your time wisely, and it's brought you to a lot of happiness, success, and abundance. But they have not used their time wisely. They've wasted their time, I feel. They've been in a, they either have a toxic lifestyle or a toxic situation that they're in. And uh, you know what? They're failing to communicate. There's no communication, no nothing. What do they want you to wait for exactly? This person isn't showing you anything. They're not showing you anything. They're not showing the divine anything. You know, I mean, but you moving on is upsetting them. You moving forward saying, I'm not waiting anymore, that's, a, that's triggering this person. Anger, fear, anxiety, that's, that's all that they're feeling here. Um, I feel like you guys could be getting some um, downloads in your dream state about this person. I, I have to say, now that this is brought up, yeah, I have too. I've seen this person in my dreams, right? Um, and yeah, you know what? You, you just know they're just, they just kind of, there's going to be something that you're shown in a dream or a vision, okay? Some kind of subconscious thought. You're going to feel it. This is part of your intuition. Just pay close attention to all of the signs and synchronicities. You could be seeing um, repeating numbers, you know, 1111, 222, 333. I've been seeing numbers in sequence, 1, 2, 3, 4. I did two videos today. Um, that one was... That you know, the amount of time on the video, the length of the video was 2344, and the video right after that was 2433. So, yeah, that's the kind of stuff that you're seeing, and I feel like um, it's all telling you just to keep moving forward, stay strong, right? Um, have courage because I feel like you're going it alone. You're moving forward. I'm hearing um, with go on without my guy. That's from um, it, it's a song called Back to Black, and it's by oh my gosh, what is her name? Hmm, left home with no regret. Kept his suit wet with that old same safe bed. We only said goodbye with words. I died a hundred times, right? You go back to her and I go back to. You know, this person could be in another relationship too, uh, a toxic relationship. And I feel like it's, you know, you have to muster some strength here to move forward and go on without your person, okay? I don't know who does that song now. I can't think of her name. It's called Back to Black. I'm trying to remember her name, and I can't. But that's the song that I'm getting. So if you guys know the song, please drop a comment. Let me know, right? Um, yeah. But anyway, burdens. Um, yeah, worry. Akashic Records. I'm telling you, I, I feel like you may feel very burdened by this, you know? Um, but you're getting these downloads. You're getting this knowledge from Source. Um about the past. This could be your person too. This is a past soul. So here's the thing. This is what I'm getting. Thank you, Divine. This is a past life soulmate connection. You guys have been together in past lives, probably many of them. And each and every time this person has screwed you over somehow. 
okay? Let's just talk about it for a second, okay? This person has screwed you over in past lifetimes. In this lifetime, they were supposed to come in and make all of that right. Because I feel like you've just been, you've been through it. This person has put you through it over and over and over and over again in past lives. And I feel like you may feel these burdens, they may feel these burdens, because in this lifetime, they still didn't win. Even though this person hasn't come forward to make it right, in this lifetime collective, this one, you are still ending up victorious. Okay? You are still victorious here. Because you're being led into all of this abundance, success, happiness, love. Okay? So either way, it's, uh, this is the lifetime where um, people are, are now tested. Okay, what have you learned? You know, this is the lifetime where people get the karma that's due to them in, in either, either good karma, which is dharma, or bad karma, right? You have to pay your karmic debt in this lifetime. I feel like that's what this is. And, you know, I, I feel like you've carried these burdens with you. So have they. I feel like they have done this to you in every lifetime. And I feel like um, with the Akashic Records out here, I, I feel like they're going to be told this is the lifetime when they're supposed to make it right. And if they don't make it right, I feel like karma is going to hit this person freaking hard. Karma is going to hit them hard. You know, you have done the right thing. You made it, okay? You made it, Collective. You've had the strength, the courage, the resilience, and you've recovered from everything that's happened to you, even in past lifetimes. You have broken um, generational curses here in this lifetime. And now you're being moved forward into a new stage of your life that's going to be happy. Look, happy, confidence, positive. Um, yeah, I feel like everything's about to open up for you in your life, and this person, it's, it almost feels like a door is being shut on them, okay? Yeah, you're in your north node, they are in their south node. They need to figure out what went down in the past, and look, as I talk about past lives, it said so right here, past life, karma, right? who you were, what did they do to you that needs to be righted. This person deep down inside, they know that's why you trigger them so much. That's why what you do triggers this person. There's a part of them that may not remember, but that it's still there, you know, like a little pocket of knowledge from long, long ago, you know, um, they don't, it's like they don't know the details, but, they're, it, but it's still there. That's everything that they've done to you in past lifetimes. And if they don't make it right in this lifetime, then they get their karmic justice for this. Then they have to pay a karmic debt. They either, they either pay the debt to you by making it right, or they pay the debt to the universe in, in the form of karma and burdens. Okay, but either way, I mean, this person, and I, like I said, you're in your north node moving forward. It's almost like they're either, this person's either stuck or moving backward. Because you know what? They have to face this. They have to right their wrongs in this lifetime. Or they're going to have to pay their karmic debt. Either way, they've got to pay. Either way, they've got to pay. I feel like you're refocusing at this time. You're just kind of rejuvenating. You know, I've noticed that about myself, too, I got to say. Um, I have been getting so much rest. <laughs> like, I, and a crazy amount of rest for me. Um, but that's, you know, you have to rejuvenate. It's rest and rejuvenation, okay? Because um, you have been through so much collective. This person put you through so much. We're not even just talking about life, you know? And it's time for you to really focus on you now. I feel like you're putting the focus back on yourself. And you're pulling away. You see the separation here almost. 
pulling away from your person because it's just going to take too long more time you may get a it says one month here an apology um you may get an apology in a month i feel like the divine is really going to crack down on your person okay but you're being guided to keep moving forward you're going to be leaving their life you're not waiting for this person anymore. And the farther away you get, the longer this goes on, the more obsessive and erratic this person gets. So um, you pulling away and detaching and moving on may actually help this person come in. It may light a fire under their butt and get them to take some kind of action and come in and, and apologize and clear this up after lifetimes of doing you wrong basically is what it is it's lifetimes of them doing you wrong and in this lifetime they're supposed to make it right the divine is not going to leave them alone but the divine for sure doesn't want you waiting around for this person anymore they want you moving forward okay does that make sense that's what i see here just know as you move on and start living your life and you're out here happy uh, in your abundance, getting blessed, following your north node, this person over here, they're going to be, they're going to become very erratic, like they're going to have, uh, they're going to be going nutty, okay, that's how I would say it, they're going to be going nutty, they're going to be, it's like going berserk, they're going to start climbing the walls, uh, a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights, a lot of tears, watching you, obsessing over you, stalking you, feeling jealous, feeling burdened, feeling nervous and fearful, okay? And they're going to have to suffer with that feeling every day until this person makes it right, all the stuff that they've done to you in past lives. I'm telling you, that's part of their karma. That's part of their karma, Yeah, and you know, this was, like I said, this was a connection that was supposed to come together in this lifetime. They're really, by acting like this and not taking any action and putting it off and avoiding the situation, they're really screwing up their destiny. Had this person come to make things right before, or even maybe just not screwed you over, they could have a really beautiful um, ten of cups kind of situation with you, okay? Because you got it going on. Yeah. So they really screwed up their destiny here. And I feel like they're, they're going to be obsessed about you every day, every minute of the day, until they make this right. Yeah, I feel like you have a fresh start here, a new path new beginnings. There could even be children involved in this, right? Some of you are pregnant, but that's not for all of you. But yeah, they um, you're having a new start, a fresh start. You're leaving this person behind in your dust, and it's, it's their own fault. All they can do, look, it's a lie, secrets, fantasy. Um, all they can do is dream about you here. Dream about you and not come forward. What is this? Revolution, free thinking. Yeah, using that free will, though. Yeah, a new project. Brainstorm, collaborate. I feel like this is your energy manifesting something new. Um, you're going to meet people that you can collaborate with. Maybe start a new project with. This is you starting to expand now as you move forward, right? Branching out into other forms of, you know, other outlets of your um, spirituality. Manifesting something new for yourself. Calling it in. Because you're ready, collective. You've really been through it. Believe in yourself. Surrender. I feel like that's for you also. Trusting in, in the divine. Believing and having faith, knowing who you are, knowing what you deserve, and allowing yourself to surrender to your path and move forward. You're, you're also letting go of this person so you can do this. 
and that's what's triggering this person gut feeling yeah I feel like um, I feel like this is for this person here they've got this gut feeling that you're gone and I feel like they need to start researching this connection. They need to start realizing the spiritual side of things, okay? If they do that, if they can do their inner work, if they can do their shadow work, this could actually transform and have a positive outcome. Because this connection here that I'm reading for here, this one really was supposed to come together. It's part of your destiny, both of you. But your person just, they haven't been able to get their act together. If they, if they do their work and uh, they trust their intuition and they listen to spirit and they come in and make it right, it could have, a, it could be transformed. But yeah, this wounded warrior needs to learn their lessons from all the past uh, stuff, all the ways that they treated you in, in the past in this lifetime and in the past in other lifetimes, okay? And I feel like they need to learn a lesson. If they don't learn the lesson from this, they have to keep repeating that toxic cycle. Only this time you're not playing. So this person is kind of left on their own. And they're feeling that. They're feeling that cutoff. They're feeling you detach. Okay? And this is someone who just, they keep going through it, keep going through it, keep, because they're not doing the work. You know, the divine is going to keep putting them in the same toxic loop for however many times it takes for this person to learn the lesson from it. You know? They've got to communicate with you. They've got to listen to the messages that they're given from the divine. It's like they, they just are fighting against everything here. They're just like, it's kind of, you know what it reminds me of? is like a, a kid that hasn't gotten their way, that's lashing out. You can't ask them to do anything. They're going to fight. You can't touch them. They're going to fight. You can't be nice to them. They're going to be nasty. It, this is kind of what it feels like. It kind of feels like a narcissist who's not willing to give up their control. A narcissist whose ego is about to be crushed. You know, they, they can either come in and do things the right way, or the divine is going to keep bringing towers down for this person. You know? But you, you've learned your lessons. You've, you've put the work in. You've been more than patient. Yeah, here, look. And, and possibly this person may in the future want to propose but they're, you know, they're going to, and this is definitely a masculine energy wanting to propose. But they're going to have to have the strength to come forward and communicate. They're still not showing you anything. They can daydream. I feel like this could be them being kind of dreamy here. They can daydream about marrying you. Uh, all day long if they want but you know what if they don't take some action towards it it's not going to happen it's not going to happen if they're going to be this stubborn and buck the system and fight the divine they're not going to get to that point you're, you're being led forward you're not going to you're not going to sit here and wait for this person anymore they have to understand that yes take action and reach reach out yeah, I feel like this is what they need to do. They need to take some action. They need to reach out, okay? Um, especially if they want to propose to you, they need to make it right. If they want a yes, answer. Because right now, I feel like, like I said, you are, you're more focused on yourself and your destiny and your future. And you're not waiting for this person anymore collective you're not let's see what this person has to say but yeah this is somebody who's supposed to make all of this right this this lifetime and if they don't they have to repeat the toxic loop um, until they learn the lessons okay they cannot keep treating you after this year it's done 
you got you guys this person won't be able to hurt you in another lifetime okay you've passed your tests and you're graduating and, and moving forward so I feel like your part in this is over um, your person still needs to do the work whoever this is I need you in my life what does this person want to say to the collective what do they want to say to the collective? My financial situation has changed. Yeah, that's part of their karma. I feel like the, the karma is hitting them uh, where it mattered to this person, and that's in their wallet, right? It took me a long time, but I'm starting to not care about what others think anymore. Well, that's good. I feel like they listen to other people about you as well. I check on you every chance I get. They're definitely watching you, Collective. Oh, duh. I'm reminded of you every time I walk in this building. I get so upset when something reminds me of you because it reminds me how much I miss you. Please come back. I made a mistake. Yeah. But you're not going to just come back and wait for them to make things right. It, it, that's... Yeah, I'm in a karmic relationship, but we sleep in separate beds. Yeah, this person could, and they and they daydream about you often. Uh, this person could be in a karmic relationship. They could, I. they are definitely going through something here. Fights, disagreements, conflicts. I mean, this maybe this person just is so used to thriving off of drama, you know, uh, maybe they're used to choosing karmic people to be with. They're not quite used to somebody who's not going to put up with any BS, and that's you. You're not putting up with this. So, yeah, it doesn't matter if they sleep in separate beds or not. If they're connected to the devil, I feel like that's a no-go. If they're in a karmic situation, that's a no-go. This person needs to do the work that they need to do. It's got to start with them, too, right? They've got to do the work on themselves, their own life. They need to do the same kind of work that you did, right? And they need to start it sometime. The divine is, is going to keep them in a karmic loop until they right the wrongs from the past, okay? Okay.